Hi, I'm Walt Rivero, one of Linode's developer advocates. In no particular order, today we'll be counting down 15 popular acronyms in the Linux industry. We have SSH, Wine, and DPKG. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like these, and let's get started. Number one, SOC. SOC stands for System on a Chip. A system on a chip contains all the required circuitry and components of an electronic system onto a single chip. It can be contrasted with a traditional computer system, which is comprised of many distinct components. Number two, RPM. RPM stands for RPM Package Manager, which was formerly known as Red Hat Package Manager. The software company that makes RPM, Red Hat Incorporated, has been making open source software products since 1993. RPM allows you to install, uninstall, and manage software packages in Linux. Number three, Wine. Wine stands for Wine is not an emulator. This is referred to as a recursive acronym because its name loops back into itself, so it's a play on words, so to speak. Sort of like how a fractal has never-ending fractals inside of it. Wine is similar to other virtualizations like Parallels and VMware, which basically allow you to run an operating system inside of another operating system. So you could run Windows programs on a Mac, for example. So perhaps Wine is a type of emulator. Number four. BIOS. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. During the booting process, the BIOS performs hardware initializations and provides runtime services for operating systems and programs. So if you purchase a laptop, then the BIOS firmware comes pre-installed on a system board. And a fun fact, the BIOS is the first software to run when a laptop is powered on. Number five, OOM. OOM stands for out of memory, and it's commonly used when referring to an OOM killer. The OOM killer is a tiny program that kills off applications if a computer has no more memory available. Rather than freezing the computer, this program rushes to shut down unnecessary tasks one by one in hopes to save the computers from crashing. Number six, TCP IP. This stands for Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol, and it is actually a combination of communication protocols used to interconnect network devices over the public internet and private intranet. You might hear TCP IP used in the same sentence as the OSI model. Well, the OSI model gives the order of how communication needs to follow, whereas TCP IP is the standard on which the internet was developed. Number seven, Unix. The name Unix stands for Uniplexed Information and Computer System, so it's not technically an acronym. In fact, one of its founders, Dennis Ritchie, recognized this and pushed it to be spelled lowercase. Developed in 1969, Unix broke a lot of new ground. It could run several applications at one time, support a large number of users at the same time, and it had great security, and it could also operate well within a network of computers. Number eight. AIF stands for Arch Installation Framework. Don't get this confused with the four letter AIF audio format. This three letter AIF, it allows you to install by combining logic from different profiles, write an automated installer, and make it easier to maintain code and be used by other scripts. It's a Linux distribution that adheres to five principles, simplicity, modernity, pragmatism, user centrality, and versatility. Number nine, AAS, as a service. So you have software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, and more. As a service can be simplified to mean as a subscription, where you're renting software for a duration of time. Some popular examples are Microsoft Office 365 for software as a service, and here at Linode for internet as a service. Number 10, curl. This stands for curl URL request library, and it's a command line tool used to transfer data to and from a server. It uses HTTP, FTP, IMAP, SMTP. Okay, you get it. It can be used with a lot of protocols, but you can automate curl to make a request, get data, and then pass that around to get other information. Number 11, LAMP. LAMP refers to Linux, Apache, MySQL, and either PHP, Perl, or Python. This is a tech stack, which there are hundreds of. Tech stacks work by taking separate technologies and then stacking them together to create a software suite that works great together. Don't confuse LAMP with LEMP. They're similar, but different. And if you wanna watch a video to learn more about LAMP, then I'll put a link in the cards. Number 12, DPKG. Pronounced D package, this is the Debian package manager. Simply put, 
It's a low level tool that is used to install, remove, and provide information about Debian's .deb packages. Number 13, PHP. PHP Hypertext Preprocessor. This is the P in the LAMP or LEMP stack. Actually, the P in LAMP or LEMP can also mean either Perl or Python. PHP is a general purpose scripting language suited for web development. It's everywhere. Over 200 million websites use PHP. And a fun fact, the mascot of PHP is a big blue elephant. Number 14, K8S. This is referring to Kubernetes. Known as K8s, Kubernetes allows you to host multiple Docker containers. It's really powerful. It allows systems to automate, scale, be more efficient, and more. So if you want to learn more about that, good news, we made a video about that too. Number 15, SSH, stands for Secure Shell. So then what's the H stand for? Well, it's the second letter in Shell. In your career, you'll also come across what's called Bash, B-A-S-H, which stands for Born Again Shell. So the shell is SH, and SSH is used to manage networks, encrypt file transfers, and secure machine-to-machine -machine automation. SSH is now used by almost every data center in the world, and more than half of the world's web servers are managed using SSH. And that's it. Let us know in the comments what you learned or other acronyms that you would like to have seen on this list. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of new episodes. Thanks.